bless you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little while since I posted last, but I recently got a new job, so that's why I've been kind of off the radar in terms of posting videos, which means that there should be a haul video in the next little while. That should be exciting now that I can actually buy things again. Anyway, um, today's video is going to be kind of inspired by the new season coming in now that spring is ha about halfway over and summer is coming very close it is soon going to be time to being on the ball with self tanner i actually apply my self tanner probably once a week twice a week in the summer depending on what i'm doing and if i'm going places or on vacation the thing that i like to use to apply my self tanner and not get any streaks or blotchy spots is a tan application mitt this one you can buy at Shoppers Drug Mart, it's about $8, and it's made by Saint Tropez, which is also the self-tanner that I use. And a lot of people may not know this, but you can actually reuse these, they're not necessarily disposable after one use. Yeah, just hit yourself in the head with it, Liz, why not? Mine is a little dirty now because I've used it again since I filmed this. Uh, but I did want to show how I actually clean this. I probably use it... Um, I'd say about 10 times before I replace it. So you can get definitely get your $8 worth from these things and they're definitely worth the investment if you've never tried one of these. Um, whether you're using a drugstore self tanner or a high end one, this makes a huge difference and it keeps your hands from getting orange. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how I clean my tanning mitt. So the first thing I like to do is find a a plastic container that you don't really use for food or anything like that. Uh, mine happens to fit the mitt perfectly flat down in it, so that's probably the best idea if you can find one that will actually fit your tanning mitt down in it flat without it bending. I take that container and I fill it up with, I'd say, warm water. You don't want to use hot because there's a plastic film on the inside of the foam, and the last time I used hot water, it actually melted and the black part actually melted onto the foam. So you don't want to use hot water, use warm or slightly warmer than warm water if that makes sense. And a bit of dish liquid. I like to use dish liquid that is formulated for like overnight soaking, degreasing for like really gross pots and stuff. You want to fill up your container with some soap and warm water and get it nice and bubbly and stuff in the top. Mix it up if you need to. Then I lay my tanning mitt flat down in the container and I let it soak for a couple of hours. And once you let it soak for a few hours, then you can take out your mitt, uh, rinse it out under warm water in the sink. You can do this in your bathroom or your kitchen. I just tend to do it in the kitchen. Now so put it back in that soapy bath in the opposite direction. So if you had it facing up first, put it down facing down afterwards and let it soak for another few hours. Then I take it out, rinse it out with water again, and then I rinse out the actual container and put it in fresh uh, soap and water. So I do it the second time. The first time it gets all the egg, like the excess outer layer of product in the mitt, and then the second time can really help release some of those stains. Now, not all of them are going to come out. I find after a few uses, it does get a little stained, but at least you can get as much of the product out as possible. The benefit to doing this is that I find the mitt will actually work better. Once the mitt gets filled with a lot of product and it starts to feel a little tacky, um, I find the, the self-tan application doesn't go on as well. Well, after you've done your second round of laying it flat in the soap, leave it for a couple of hours, rinse it out, put it back in in the opposite direction, that's when it's time to rinse out and let dry. Make sure you aren't wringing it or twisting it or pulling too hard on it. I just squeeze mine. Once that is done, then you can put it over um, like a tube product. For example, if you have like a tube product like this, just take your mitt and put it over like so and just let it dry. I find it takes probably about 12 hours to fully dry, maybe less, but that's usually when I check it and then your mitt is good to go. It is able to be used again and again and again and again until you decide to buy a new one. So I know that was a quick video, but I figured that would be something really useful to some of you guys. Maybe you didn't know you could do it or didn't know how to do it without damaging it. And that's how I've found the best way to do it is. So that is it from this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, maybe give it a thumbs up, let me know, and I'll be back with my next one soon. Bye.